So this is the new cable. I'm trying to focus properly. You will see the two sides are different. The uh, the pink attachment are identical, but the big bubble from the uh, one side is different from the one on the other side. So make sure you install the big one on the driver side of the, the passenger near the, the, the switch. The other one goes to the tank. You need to take the bit number 3 The screw will be really hard to remove so you need to take the tool like this Put it directly sideways. Let me try to get this thing in. Take your finger like this, your feet like this, you put real pressure, you see the, the, the technique. Take the ratchet and you pull up to remove the screw. Like this. Perfect. So then you take your end, pull up the thing, remove the screw. Play with this. Then you're gonna be able to pull out the cable. The cable will look like this. Depending on where it's broken, you see the cable attached to this section here. And the main cable is here, so this is like a bicycle cable. Well, in most of the cases, your fuel door will be stuck closed. So then you will need to go inside the, the car. Uh, you need to remove the completely the interior trim. So basically you have a screw here. You need to remove these brackets. Another screw here. Another screw there. You remove everything, the, the luggage cover, uh, one screw in the front. Depending if you have the subwoofer, you will need to remove these screws. And there's one screw hidden behind this panel. So this is the tricky part. So this is how it looks inside the, the handle. So I just pull out the plastic cover here and I unscrew the screw. Same thing for this one sideways here you have this basically it looks like this before so do you have a screw to remove there so I'm gonna work now on the other screw so you need to pry open after you remove all the screws you need to pry open this section you can see you will be able to pull it out quite easily by prying on this on the handle so this should come all loose same thing here you see and then at the bottom you need to remove this pin and the other pin that's there so the first one is already removed the second one I'm going to remove it so you need a small screwdriver you pull out the pin and then it should go out easily store everything neatly you need to pry this and you're going to be able to pull out this, this piece of plastic uh, so it's really hard with one end so basically you need your two ends I um, should be okay now. So then you're gonna be able to remove the complete side piece here and access your cable. So when the trim is removed, that side trim on the on the door, it will look like this. So the cable for the gas trap is this one. It's easy. Now I put it out, it was here originally, now it's there. So what you need to do is you need to attach the replacement cable sorry on this on this one so basically you find a way to attach this personally I use a tape called uh, ducking tape really really hard to uh, to pull out 
you attach the new cable to this one and you just pull it from the driver's side will go underneath and you're going to be able to access it from the other side. The best way to attach the, uh, the two cables together, the old one and the new one, is to use a, a galvanized wire, a small gauge like a 19 gauge, something like that. So this is an example of how it should look. Uh, you see, it's one side is pretty solid, the other one is just wrap around. And then when this is done, you just pull out on the wire from the, the passenger side. Uh, it will look like this, basically. So you take the wire here, this one, and you just pull it, pull on it slowly. Make sure there's no uh, resistance, otherwise it will come loose. So before you can install the new switch, uh, you make sure you remove the pink attachment that's usually left on the on the, the mechanic mechanism itself. Uh, to remove it, I just use a pair of plier and pull it out. Okay, after you manage to pass the cable through the, the driver uh, side uh, panel, uh, you need to clip it like this. You see, uh, this is attached there and the pink uh, small plastic bracket is squeezed into this. So now it's pretty solid. So when this is done, you just pull it this way and you may move it back in place where it should go. Like this. Links. You put back the screw. You try to put back the screw away like this, and you use the same tool to screw it back together. You clip all the plastic the way it was before, in case you had to remove it. So me, in my case, had some trouble. It got stuck in the back here. So you see, I pull out another plastic thing, and I was able to get the cable out from that section and pull it back to the back of the car, the truck. So this is how it should look like when it's completed or when you're just starting. Uh, so me, I have a special rug. Uh, you see there's two clips to remove. You pull out the rug and then you can be able to access the bracket or this is how it should look when it's completed. Uh, one thing I forgot to, to mention uh, is your Outlander, if your Outlander is equipped with the big uh, Rockford uh, Fosgate uh, sound system, you're gonna, buy, you're gonna have a subwoofer in the back. So uh, you need to remove this screw, this screw. There's a panel here that needs to be pulled out. Uh, what I did is I used a small screwdriver and just pry it open in that section. Just put it up and then suddenly it's gonna give away. So when it give away, you're gonna be able to see two other screws, this one and that one. When this is removed, you just pull it out a bit and you're going to be able to remove the complete panel and install your new cable. Okay, when you finally manage to get the thing out, it should look like this. So this is the panel, it will stay stuck at the bottom, so it should stay like this. Do not force it out, leave it like this. So the mechanic mechanism for the switch is located here. So you see the cable, so you just need to pull out this, same principle as in the front. You pull out this, put the new cable in place, you see the routing of the cable where it goes. So you just follow exactly the same path and then you install the new cable and you should be in business. So you reinstall everything back the way it was and you're good to go. Thank you.